In Excel, or any software program for that matter, there's no substitute for saving your work and saving your work frequently. It's uh, very often that you might close a file inadvertently and uh, tell the program not to save it, and then you have to go ahead and recreate your work. Or even worse, you have a power failure, your battery runs out, or your program crashes on you. Fortunately, Excel has a couple of safety precautions for you. We're going to talk about Auto Recover first. Auto Recover is a built-in mechanism in Excel that's turned on by default that will present to you a screen like we see here after you are able to open up your Excel program again. So say for example, you're on battery power, your battery runs out, you are on electric power and you have a power failure and you have no power backup or your program simply crashes on you. Once power is restored or once you go and reopen the program, if auto recover is turned on and working, you'll see a panel appear on the left side of the screen here as we have this document recovery panel and it's telling you that Excel has recovered the following file or files. It will give you an option to save those documents such that they're not lost. Now I'm going to click on this document here. I then get a little drop down button. Once I click on there, it gives me a few options to open, to save as, or to show any repairs that may have been made. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so it will appear on my screen. I can then verify that's the file that I need. I'm going to close this panel on the left side of my screen and this would be my opportunity to go ahead and save the file. And I'm going to go ahead and click on my office button and do a save as and just to make sure that it's saving it to the name that I want to assign to it and in the location that I want to save it to. And then I'm going to click on save. All right. This file exists already. I'm just going to overwrite it. And I know now that I have the, sale with my, the saved file with my most recent changes. Now let's talk about how auto recover settings work and let's show you where the auto recover exists. If you click on your Microsoft Office button at the upper left hand corner of your screen, go down to where the Excel options button is. Click there and then locate on the left the save option. Under save you see under the Save Workbook section here, there's a little checkbox that says Save Auto Recover Information Every So Ever Many Minutes. The default is 10 minutes, and you can increase or decrease this amount of time. The only thing is, for particularly large documents, you might notice a performance lag as it saves your file you know, in the background. Now, if your document or your Excel workbook is not open for the minimal amount of time and you lose power or the program crashes, unfortunately you will not have your file. So you have to identify what threshold you want to use. By default, Excel will have this auto recover save feature turned on and set to 10 minute intervals. Now it saves the auto recover files to a location pretty deep into your hard drive. But the reason for that is in case you have to go out and physically look for it, you'll have to dig for it, but it won't intermingle or commingle that document with other active Excel files that you're working on such that they don't get confused. But under normal circumstances, with your auto recover working, when you get power restored or you're able to open up your Excel program again, you'll have that panel appear on the left side of the screen as we saw before with the option or options of the file or files you had open at the time you had the problem, the crash, or you lost power. Now something else in Excel as well, aside from auto recover, that will help safeguard you and prevent you from conceivably losing your information is if you go to close the file or the program and you've made changes it will prompt you and the program will ask you, would you like to save your changes? So if I go to click the X, here's what that prompt looks like. All right, a little Microsoft Office Excel warning screen appears. 
Do you want to save changes you made to, and it gives you the file name of that particular workbook. You have the option yes, no, or cancel. If you say cancel, you'll still remain where you were at that point. If you say no, it will close the file and it will not save any changes or additions you made since it was last saved. If you say yes, it will then save any new changes you have to your workbook. If that workbook has not been previously saved, clicking yes will take you into the Save As dialog where you will be prompted to specify a location and a file name for your Excel workbook. Now, this happens all too often. This screen will appear. You'll quickly just click on No inadvertently, unintentionally, and then you'll realize that all the work you've done has been lost and has to be recreated. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Yes. All right, that saved the file and that closed it for me.